Welcome to Salient Training's Job Aid videos. In this segment, we show you how easy it is to add a recording server to your Complete-View deployment. A Complete-View deployment consists of one management server and one or more recording servers. One of the best features of the Complete-View VMS is the system's scalability. When your company grows, Complete-View can grow with you by adding additional recording servers for more cameras. So let's get started. All right, to add a recording server, log in to Complete View and then select that configure module. In the left navigation pane, locate the recording servers panel, right click on the overview, and select Add Server. This opens up the Add Server screen. To add a server, we need to enter the connection information for the new recording server in the connection info panel. In the host box, enter the IP address or the fully qualified domain name of the recording server that you're adding. Leave the ports on the default settings and you wanna leave auto provision checked. Auto provision is a setting that applies your common settings to the new server and migrates the users from the recording server without overwriting passwords on your management server. And enter in the username admin now, if this is a brand new server that's never been configured, just select connect right now, leave the password blank. If this is a server that's already been configured or been at a previous deployment, enter in the admin password for that recording server and then select connect. If everything's successful, you'll see all the info screens for your recording server, including the connection info, the server info screen, the configuration history, your licensing info section where you'll find your product ID, and where you can add feature keys to unlock version upgrades and add camera licenses. We have another job aid video that shows you all the steps on how to do that, and you'll find the link to that video in the comments section below. Next, we're gonna change the friendly name of the recording server. So on this edit server screen, Locate the server info window in the top middle, highlight the text and the friendly name, and enter in whatever name you want for your recording server. Once you've got a name entered in, go ahead and select the save button up here to save that configuration. And you'll see the updated name in your server list. And that's all there is to adding a recording server to your deployment. If you found this video helpful, follow us for more job aid and user training videos. If you have an idea for a future video, let us know by sending an email to training at salientsys.com. Thanks for watching.